Hi Vox, welcome to November's 4x4. That's right, November's 4x4. I am transitioning to doing a monthly video recap and announcement um, so as not to flood your inbox now that you've had a chance to get to know me a little. I wanted to spend a couple minutes recapping our fifth Sunday time together. Um, my biggest win from that time was getting to sing Brandon's beautiful song on our new um, greenhouse theme song and getting to share it with everyone. That was really special for me. Also special getting to serve one another communion and getting to see um, some of our singles community getting to offer children the communion and getting to spend time with them in Eucharist. That was really special. Also really special to eat tacos and get to sit with people and have time to chat. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I wanted to spend some time talking to you about allergies. So um, many of us have allergies and lots of kids have allergies. And as we continue to add more fun elements to our curriculum on Sunday mornings during liturgy, with more fun comes uh, also more opportunities for things to go wrong. So <laughs> I wanted to encourage you and walk you through the process of how you can input your child's allergy information into Church Center. That's one of the lovely things about using this platform is that when you input their allergy information, it prints on their sticker. So at the top, it would have their name and then the classroom that they're assigned to. And then at the bottom, it has an allergy section. And if you entered your child's allergies, it will all be there on the sticker. So every teacher, every parent, every administrator that walks in and sees your child with that sticker on knows immediately what their allergies are before they serve something that could potentially cause some discomfort or danger, okay? So I'm gonna talk you through how you can do this. Um, you can know that it's done properly when you log into your Church Center app. So here's the main screen. And then up there is my little icon and um, it's my picture because I gotta make it cute. So I click on my picture and then at the top it says, hello, Vanessa. So I click on that and then it has your contact and profile information and then your household. So if I click on household, I can see everyone in my household. That's my mother-in-law down at the bottom. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> fun fact. So I can click on their names and I can see all of their information down in there, okay? So then at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see that there's that medical notes section. So medical notes, that's where you can tell if you've inputted their allergies. Like if you're not sure today, you can go in there and see. And you can always check on that. Um, and it will, it will like let you do it. Okay. So, um, that's the allergies thing. If you need help in putting your child's allergies, please don't hesitate to come up to me on Sunday at the check-in station. I'll have a couple of manned stations where I can hop over and help you edit that in. Okay. Um, third thing is my, both of my fingers came up. I don't know what to tell you. Third thing is the fall retreat. I am so excited. Um, we have a couple of kids activities, a family activity or two, several. Um, and then Christopher and I will be team teaching on rest and Sabbath rest specifically and how it can be a gift um, and how you might be able to do that as a family to give your family the gift of rest. So I'm really excited about that. Um, last thing I want to talk to you about is hard times and, um, what, how that looks in a family when you have kids walking them through hard times. Um, this has been a very difficult week in the Malaire household, um, where we've had my grandma in the ICU and then my oldest child, um, had a car wreck. It was not his fault. And he was talking through the process and it was really hard um, because what he said was, mom, I did everything right and it's not fair. I was at a green light and I did what I was supposed to do. I checked everything and made sure that everything was safe and then I went and the guy still hit me. And we had to have a conversation about, um, yeah, you can, sometimes you can do everything right and you can still get hurt and that's, um, that's hard. And 
Um, we're still going to be talking through that and working through that with him. But I guess what I wanted to say today is not, it's important to not shy away from those conversations, right? It would be easy to just like cuddle and we've done a lot of cuddling and soothing and, um, and then move on. But to really dig into those moments when they're with us, when they're in our household, when we can talk to them and talk them through that hard process, that hard life lesson, um, that's a really valuable gift that we get to pass on to our kids. So that's what I want to leave you with. I hope you guys are having a better week <laughs> than we've had over here. Um, but we are also very grateful um, for our community and for people showing up for us and praying and everything. And I certainly don't want that um, to be the focus of this, but instead to leave you with a smile and happy thoughts, good vibes. <laughs> See you guys hopefully soon. <laughs>